It's Talk Funny, a podcast by Mark Bailey, and other comics from all over. We came to Japan to see smokers blatantly smoking next to the non-smoking signs on the sidewalk. As if the Japanese signs were written in Greek. The Talk Funny podcast from NagoyaRadio.com and Nagoya Comedy. Here's Mark Bailey. Mark Bailey and Steve Howard on Talk Funny. Who? So, Steve, I've had some Kafka S experiences in Japan. <laughs> Keep really? suspending your disbelief. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You ever see the movie Office Space? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think that Japanese people see that movie and they think it's a documentary on how to run an office. <laughs> yeah. So, in my university, we had exams, and I simply, when I left, I counted the exams, counted the people, right number, nobody missed the exam. I have all the exams. I walked out, apparently, I left. I, I dropped one in the hall. The janitor found it, turned it into the office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it would have been better if you threw it away. I saw <laughs> them already. I know the content. They took it to the office. I have to go to another school in the afternoon. So when they turned it into the office, they called me and said, uh, it's an hour later now after I've left. Mm-hmm. They said, can you come back and get the test, which I should have done. But I'm on a train now to set, though. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, I have other obligations. You guys give me four classes a week. I mean, yeah. I have a house in kids takes a little more than four classes so i'm somewhere else why are you somewhere else because i'm not full time there you know well i'm gonna call you back at three and i said well at three i'm either on the train or i'm in class Mm -hmm. whatever hour you call me well you're not working all the way till nine they said we we want you back here at 9 p.m tonight (laughs) it's after i'm doing 12 hours uh no we'll do it tomorrow we'll just do it tomorrow no we're doing it tonight (laughs) well physically we can't why because i'm a seto and by the time i get back it's nine i'm in the goya station I don't know if I can get back to your university in time. And I'm really not in the mood. <laughs> so uh, we'll do it tomorrow. She goes, well, you better come tomorrow. What time? 1230. You better come 1230. <laughs> She's a, a real bitchy secretary. My boss has turned out to be very nice, but the, mm. the secretary is like, you better come. And I said, it was my idea, lady. <laughs> yeah, 1230. Said, you better come at 1230. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm the one that suggested it. 1230. You better. I said, you, be- you better be there too. <laughs> you better you bet better. your life. <laughs> I said, you. <laughs> so I showed up. So the thing with office space, we said you've seen, uh, one of the funniest scenes is, well, Steve, you didn't uh, staple the TPS reports. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I forgot. But we sent you a memo. Did, did you get the memo? I got the memo. We'll send you another memo. No, I know. I know. I know. I just messed up. I just didn't do it. Yeah, because we're stapling them now. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I know. Did you read the memo? I read the memo. So we're stapling them. I know. So, But yours weren't stapled. Yeah, I messed up one time. I messed up. But yours weren't stapled. I know, but we're stapling them now, Steve. Mm. I get it. <laughs> Next time they'll be stapled. That's good because, you know, we sent a memo and we're <laughs> going to send it right now. Here's another memo. We're stapling them now. I know. <laughs> I know. And I will too. I will do that. I screwed up once. Speaking of screwing up once, both of us got married one time. <laughs> yeah. We'll send you another memo. <laughs> and so I went to the meeting, and the thing that Japanese universities don't understand is. The exam, I've been prepping the students for the exam the whole year. Right. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> you are allowed to let students bring whatever they want except for a cell phone mm. or Apple Watch. Yeah. So they bring their memo. Right. So it doesn't take them long to just copy it. <laughs> right. <laughs> a piece of paper. But when you pick up the exams in the morning, you have to, it's like a sword ceremony. You have to bow. Yeah. You have to sign. The, you have mm. to sign for these yeah. that we made. I'm like, but I sent these to you. These I made <laughs> these exams. You just printed them. You just have to sign that they're what you sent that is printed. <laughs> Yeah, they are. No, you have to sign. I sign it. They're like, well, last semester you signed your initials and your name in katakana, but this time you just signed your initials. I said, well, last semester I was wearing a leather coat and my jaw was askew to the left. Do I have to do that? Jesus, it's a piece of paper. And I already have their grades because yeah. you didn't show up. You sleep in class. You're an a-hole. I already have your grade. It's just ticking the box, right? So I accidentally uh, left a piece of paper in the hall. We go there. We have a meeting. Twelve thirty on Thursday, and they're like, "So why did you do that?" And I said, "So did you think I did that on purpose?" <laughs> well, let me tell you my plan. <laughs> my plan is to destroy this university, piece of paper by piece of paper. I'm but, not. Well, by the way, you guys don't do drug testing, do you? <laughs> I'm going to leave the paper in the hall. I'll leave it in the mountains. I'll leave it on the <laughs> sea. I will leave it on the land, and I will never, never, ever stop. Dropping exam papers. <laughs> That's my victory. No, I said it's an accident. Yeah, well, but what did happen? Can you look up accident? <laughs> Gravity. Uh, <laughs> so you didn't mean to do it. I said accident, right? <laughs> so you mean to do it? Why would I mean to do that? Yeah, because I had Thursday off. I had Thursday off until you called me in. Yeah, because I'm lonely. 
<laughs> they said, so it won't happen again. Well, accidents will never happen again. Another accident will never happen anywhere ever again. I promise, because I'm God. No accidents will ever happen. And the irony is, they said, well, you left that student's paper. He happens to be a good student. Uh, you left that student's paper out in the hall, and anybody could have seen it. And it's a privacy concern. So the 17 people in the office, we all had a real problem with that. So I said, yeah, so you showed his paper to 17 people in the office, and that's my privacy concern. So the funny thing is they said, well, you have to do this and blah, blah, blah. And we noticed that you accidentally gave the wrong exam to the wrong class. And I said, yeah, but I teach both classes. We both practice the pool of 30 questions. Mm -hmm. So they're both prepared for it. And by the way, I made the test. So you don't tell me if I made the wrong test. <laughs> I mix them up. It's flam or flam. It doesn't matter. It's total D, total dumb. They're random. And they said, but yeah, but how did you pick those? I said, random. <laughs> but how did you decide this is better for economics? And then you accidentally gave the economics the to the management. You gave management to economics. <laughs> they said, random. <laughs> random man. <laughs> what do you give a random man? <laughs> the random handler. They said, they're random. <laughs> and they're both prepared. <laughs> so what difference does it make? And it, by the way, it's a piece of effing paper. Mm -hmm. It's very good. <laughs> oh, it, was, it reminds me of uh, Mike Miller did that fantastic, almost a similar thing about immigration, <laughs> about the, uh, you know, trying to turn in the uh, the documents to uh, renew your visa. It's a very similar yeah. situation. It's just paper is sacred yeah, in this yeah, country, yeah. which is funny because they burn it. <laughs> you know? And the ironic thing was, and I did get my comeback. They said, well, we just want to have this meeting and we want to, you know, give the test back to you and, and make sure there's no more privacy concerns. So thank you for coming, and okay, thank you, everybody, and there's like four people now in the <laughs> meeting. Okay, and then I go to the elevator, and I go down, and I realize they didn't give me the test. <laughs> they didn't give me the exam, so I could grade. So I called them, and I said, see how it feels. You also forgot a paper. And they're running like, oh, I'm so sorry we forgot. That's the whole purpose of the meeting yeah. was to get the paper to me safely. But you forgot a yeah. piece of paper. See how it feels? I said, I think we need a meeting about you forgetting the piece of paper. I mean, God knows what happened to that piece of paper between the time you held it and the time you gave it to me. See how it feels? I know you have to be here nine hours a day, but I don't because I can't because you yeah. wouldn't hire me full time. I have to work nine places, yeah. one hour a day at each damn place. Mm -hmm. And now you want to call me back. So I thought it was very Kafka-esque. One more story about Kafka. Uh -huh. I rented it in the 90s. It came out. And I was watching it at home mm -hmm. on a Saturday, my day off. Wife didn't like it that she was cleaning, and I had a day off. She mm -hmm. couldn't stand it. So I'm trying to watch <laughs> Kafka. So she's vacuuming around me. She vacuums, takes the cord out. The VCR goes out. She vacuums <laughs> again, takes the TV cord out. I have to hook it back up. At the restart, she goes, is this a good movie? I'm like, well, how would I know? I'm, I'm not able to watch it. And about 40 minutes in, where they keep saying to Kafka, you know what you did. You know that you did something wrong. You know what you did. You know what the penalty is. And I'm like, 40 minutes in, she's not letting me watch this. I must have done something wrong. <laughs> so I just didn't finish watching it. I watched it finally later on DVD, but I couldn't finish watching it. I took it out, and she goes, oh, you finished? I said, oh, we're done. We're done. She goes, no, no, go ahead. Watch it. Yo, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> watch it watch it on your day off watch it enjoy your day off that's the day I got my office <laughs> anything you want to add on like reading the room or Kafka um, well th th this is actually a this is actually a positive story about my wife um, so she got her that's all the time we have I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> remember earlier in, in another podcast when we were talking about comedy is all about telling the truth and pain you can't tell this story it's not true <laughs> But uh, she, uh, my wife got her uh, university degree, four-year degree in the United States, and so she learned how to write a, uh, a uh, you know, a, a college essay properly. And so she comes back to Japan, and she went to a Japanese university uh, for her education degree, and uh, she took a, it was a English class in all English, and the assignment was write an original um, English essay. Uh, about uh, something about education. So she did that. She wrote an original essay about education. And her professor was, uh, was disappointed or angry, I called her into his office, and she was talking to him, a Jap Japanese professor, okay. and uh, she, she couldn't quite understand, well, wh what's wrong with my essay? Why do you have a problem with it? And he was kind of, you know, hinting and stuff. And finally, what it came down to was all the other students in the class had basically taken everything he had said from his lectures, all the, all the, uh, um, 
articles and different things that he had quoted, they had picked one, cut and pasted it into a, 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 um, a Word document and turned that in as their paper, their original paper. And uh, that was fine. She turned his hers in and he actually had to read it and figure out what she and he was mad. He was angry about it. And, you know, she he, he couldn't understand why she was upset that, uh, you know, he, he, he had a problem with her original uh, written English written uh, essay that he told them to do <laughs> so kind of a I guess a uh, similar situation do before. what I say not what I tell you to do <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> do exactly what I say I mean do you ever see this the worst translator in the world it's a span it's in Spanish subtitles mm. it's called the worst translator in the world so there's an American guy and he needs a translator and the drug dealer tells the translator just say exactly what he says and tell me so the American guy goes, so you're the translator? So the translator, he's an idiot, and he turns to the drug dealer and goes, so you're the translator? He goes, no, I'm not the translator. You're the translator. He turns to the American guy, I'm not the translator, you're the translator. And the American guy's like, okay. It was an American guy that was in Breaking Bad. He was oh, one of the, okay. the cop. Mm. He goes, I'm sorry, can I talk to you alone? So the guy goes, I'm sorry, can I talk to you alone? So the gangster, and the, the gangster walks over, and the translator stays there because he thinks that the American's going to go with him. But the gangster says to the translator, you, you told me you want to come alone. So he came over. And the American's standing there. He's like, no, I wanted to talk to him. And he goes, no, I wanted to talk to him. And he goes, okay. So they move further down the garage. <laughs> and they keep leaving a third person out. And finally, the guy goes, you know, the American guy goes, you're the worst translator I've ever met. And he goes, you're the worst translator I've ever met. And he goes, I'm your boss. And he kills him. <laughs> I'm your boss, you know. Uh, so thanks to our uh, Indian listeners. Yeah, <laughs> funny.